Today, we're gonna talk about why you might be getting fat on carnivore and ketogenic diets because I thought you were supposed to lose weight on them. Welcome everyone to my very humble channel. Now let's get into this whole weight gain on carnivore diet and ketogenic diets. Of course, they, they are pretty much the same diet, but let's talk about carnivore specifically. The reason why you guys are gaining weight, there are a few that you may not be thinking about. So let's start with eating high fat and how fat can make you fat not because of the fat itself, but because of the gallbladder. I know. A lot of you out there have underlying gallbladder issues, have no clue whatsoever that there's a problem, that you might have sludge, that you might have, which is like molasses and thick, or it can be stony with stones, or it can be tight. The way you sit, estrogen dominance, these are reasons for gallbladder issues. If you're sitting like this, or if you are stress monger, don't sleep well, the gallbladder can tighten and it doesn't release bile very well. At any rate, if you cannot break down fat from bile salts from the gallbladder for one of those reasons, or you don't have a gallbladder, then sometimes the fat will rancidify. I know. And the body, if it can't break it down and uptake it and use it, it will store it as fat. Mm -hmm. It will not use it. It will store it, which is one of the biggest reasons, one of the biggest things that no other carnivore or that I know of ketogenic people talk about is the fact that most people have a gallbladder issue and most people, once they crank up the fat, get fat on carnivore or ketogenic diets. It's not the fat. Fat does not make you fat. No, it doesn't. It's the fact that your one reason is that your gallbladder is not working and mine has always worked perfectly. So I can slam down the fats and never get fat or have diarrhea or pale stool or shoulder blade pain or bloated from eating any of the fats, butter, lard, or tallow. Those are the ketogenic fats that put you into a state of ketosis on carnivore or ketogenic diets. Is that not profound to think, why am I gaining weight? I mean, I, I lose weight when I eat a bunch of protein because I'm starving essentially, or literally in the beginning, the body's not spiking the blood sugar. And that's a whole nother ball of wax I'm about to go into. But in the beginning, people lose weight, which is water because they're dumping a lot of water via the kidneys. They are dumping muscle because they're going into gluconeogenesis, but not that many people talk about why they're gaining weight. You can gain weight because the gallbladder is not functioning properly when you eat a lot of fat. You're storing it and not absorbing it. Some of it comes out into your stool, which will turn it pale or make it uh, float or greasy, but the rest gets stored as fat. Kind of crazy. The second reason is your blood sugar is running too high. And most people, their blood sugar is running too high or it's running high to low, which is hypoglycemia, and it bounces. There's not that many people I work with because I do a gazillion consultations and have done that over the years, and that's where I get my data from when people try to challenge me. And other doctors, they don't have this very special data, right? Real people, not like years ago they did a twin studies on a ketogenic diet and they did horribly because it was a 30 day study. You're not even in ketosis after 30 days. So you're just going to see terrible results. And that's why these studies are bogus. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what I've learned by just talking to people. I have today, I'm going to put in my playlist, all the real people with real stories, interviews, podcasts I've done. So you guys know that I'm not pulling cotton out of my bung. 
Okay. Blood sugar spiking high through gluconeogenesis because you're not eating carbs. Why is your blood sugar high? Why? If you're not eating carbs, why is your A1C high? Yeah. Gluconeogenesis. The body's trying to restore some type of energy by breaking down amino acids in your body to stabilize your blood sugar. So when your body raises blood sugar, you store via insulin glucose and keto or fat rather not ketones glucose and fat in the bloodstream all get stored all of it so what if you have both things happening what if your gallbladder is junked up and you don't know it's sludged up just slightly or it's tight it's not releasing bile or you don't have a gallbladder and it works but just like hey eh. and then your blood sugar is running high because you go to bed late and you still stress out and you have leaky gut and histamine eat too much protein mm -hmm. which is connected to the blood sugar eat too much protein blood sugar spikes insulin bolus amounts stores as fat eating too much protein stressing having a gallbladder that doesn't work these are the reasons why you're gaining fat on fat because fat does not make you fat everything else around that with your hormones and your digestion that makes you fat but not the fat itself it doesn't incite insulin glucose does and when you eat too much protein you incite glucose when you stress out glucose spikes when you don't get sleep your insulin is resisting and your blood sugar spikes and drops bing 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 pretty darn interesting and you're only and dare i say you are only going to get this information here well unless they check out this video and then go oh that's why my clients are getting fat I thought it's because they were lazy. No, no. The unsuspecting factor is the gallbladder. That's the big one. Most of you know that if your blood sugar is running high, you're going to store everything in your blood, including the fat that you eat. But if your blood sugar is moderate to low, you're not going to store the fat that you eat because there's moderate blood sugar, moderate insulin. But the gallbladder, my people, a lot of you are having gallbladder issues and don't know it. I know it because I coach you all the time. People are like, my gallbladder's fine. And I'm like, well, how much fat do you eat? Oh, I add a, f I add, I add a tablespoon to my plate. And I'm like, I just had a whole stick of butter for breakfast. How do you eat it? I just stick it in my mouth with a fork. I like it a little solid. Fork, piece of meat both in my mouth. It tastes like cream cheese after all these years. I know. Who would have thunk? Comment below if you're gaining weight on carnivore or ketogenic diet. Same thing. I don't know why you try to differentiate between the two. Same damn thing. Yeah. The only thing is on ketogenic diets, you ride the line of carnivore because those people are smart to get enough potassium in. Just saying. And some prebiotic fiber if they're eating leek, the green part, spring onions, the green part. Or asparagus just a wee bit every other day golf ball size that's all it takes stabilize your gut microbiome and no one talks about that either hmm. i wonder why maybe because it doesn't make money it's not popular or they maybe just don't know i don't know yeah anywho comment below do you guys have a gallbladder issue do you feel full when you eat fat do you feel nauseous tired heart palpy oh that's a whole nother subject the heart palps from the gallbladder. Who would have thunk? There's like five reasons you should have, not should, would have palps on a keto or carnivore diet. And one of them is your gallbladder. But I'll do a separate video about that. And I'm out because I got to do some work on my ranch and finish this darn 30 day challenge. I know I've talked about it. I thought I was going to do it a year ago. But, you know, I moved to Rawland with nothing on it. And I didn't realize how hard it would be to do it all by myself. Everything. Like right now, I'm about to move, I don't know, a couple hundred pounds of gravel, shovel into a, a wagon and pull it and drop it. I know. I don't have a tractor. So this is what you got to do. That's why my nails are broken down to absolute nothing. I don't care. Because my life is good. It's so pretty outside. Let me show you. And that is a view outside my window right now. And it party. Grass is coming in and past the stalls up that hill. 
is going to be my house. I'm so excited. Yes. Yes, people. I highly recommend buying land and then building a house. Much cheaper. And then you get what you want. Right now, I'm in my camper. And I'm out. Comment below. Share this content. There's my little pony. My little pony. Share that. Looking for food. Little pig. Share this content. Uh, my Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. You can book a consultation through stephanieperson.com if you need help. And the challenge content. I'm working feverishly to finish it this month. Let's see if I can pull it off. My Instagram is already said, my Facebook fan page, all these stupid names. I, it should just be Stephanie person for everything. Facebook fan page is Stephanie the business person. I also do a monthly subscription course, $15 a month. I cover all three diets because y'all can't all do the same damn thing. And I'm out. That's Luca, by the way. He is an Appaloosa. He's a miniature Native American horse. Beautiful day. No farts in the sky. Look, no skid marks. Nice and clear. Looks like they ain't trying to do stuff to us today. Peace.